Do you want to fix Windows crashes and get rid of the sluggish, slow, virus-prone system without irritating pop-ups and problems? Today on Scoop News, we're going to show you how to replace or dual boot Windows with Linux Mint 14 and give you a little preview, so stay tuned. <laughs> Maybe you're like me. You're wondering if Linux has the programs you need for your productivity. Well, look no further. Linux Mint is all you need, and the Software Manager application gives you access to thousands of free programs like word processing, spreadsheet, graphic design, photo editing, video and audio production, and many of the same programs that run on Windows also have Linux versions or compatible versions available. First, I recommend backing up your computer. I did this with an online tool and external hard drive. I also backed up an entire image of my hard drive with Macrium Reflect. Next, you're going to need a few tools, a blank writable DVD and DVD writer, burn for freeze software or a compatible DVD burning software that can burn an ISO image file, and about 25 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive. Now, if you head over to linuxmint.com, then click on the download link and browse down just a little bit to locate Cinnamon. If your computer is 64-bit, then click on the 64-bit download. If you're not sure, click on the 32-bit download link. The next step I will skip showing you but use your DVD software or your Burn for Free app to burn the downloaded ISO image. After a successful burn, you want to reboot, but you need to know how to select a different boot device. Just Google that. Most commonly, it's the escape key. Next, boot from your CD that you just burned. You can use the bootable DVD you made to test Mint, but if you want to go on, here is a quick look at Mint. Mint is really easy to install. Just click the Install Linux Mint icon up in the left-hand corner of your desktop. If you're not sure, select Dual Boot, which will either let Linux Mint boot or your Windows, preserving your existing Windows installation. If you're ready to replace Windows, then proceed with the replacement. After your logon, you'll notice a very nice clean desktop that's similar to Windows. And you can right mouse click on your desktop to change your wallpaper. You notice the computer icon is similar to Windows, as is the home folder, and the start menu just says menu. But it nicely categorizes all of your programs. Now, if you want to create a Word document, for example, we go down here to the Office category and click on LibreOffice Writer. I've already created an example for you and showed you you can bold, italicize, underline, center, and even insert an image. One of the most popular things also is Oracle VirtualBox, which lets me run Windows right inside of Linux, and it is a lot faster. If you're looking for some kind of a Photoshop replacement that's free, GIMP is the recommended choice. And here you even have the magic wand tool. If you want a full graphics or vector imaging program like Illustrator, Inkscape is something that's very popular. I also recommend using Firefox or Google Chrome. It comes with Brazero, a CD audio burner, music player, video player, and has many other free applications. So we thank you for joining us today and we hope that you'll check back for more of our reviews. If you end up like me, you'll love using Mint so much that you'll be using it more than your Windows.